I remember you. You shot Brayden back on Huda. What? What the hell are you doing here? Doesn't matter. You saved us the trouble of hunting you down. Stand down, Sidon. A matter of honor has brought all of you here today, and it shall be settled as such. Commander, what's going on? You owe this hunter a debt of blood, Sedan, and I would like to see at least one of my pupils redeemed before I die. He doesn't have blood enough to make up for Brayden and Jory. At least he'll be made to account for his actions. A Tong blood duel will resolve this dispute, a duel to the death. Challenge Sedan. A true Mandalorian must accept. Sounds good to me. Bring it on, Satan. I accept. Relu, your fight is my second. You've dug your own graves. Ding stop. Well fought, Hunter. I see in you the future of my people. That's quite a compliment coming from you. I merely speak the truth. This matter is settled. The rest of you shall allow this Hunter to finish the Great Hunt in peace. No, Commander. Our pledge to Taro stands. You are no Mandalorians. That make you feel tough? Shooting an old man. I did him an honor. Better he die for his cause than in his bed. Now it's your turn. Ours, I'm good. It's fitting that I die here, surrounded by my failures. Taro mustn't win the great hunt. Don't let his example lead others down the easy path. Keep honor alive among my people. Show them that the old traditions, the code of the warrior, is worthy of defending. I'm no Mandalorian. What am I supposed to show them? You are more Mandalorian than you realize. Learn about the past. It will guide your future. Unless you believe in something, you will become an empty shell. Or a rabid dog. In the end, all you have is your dignity. Must be a real burden, having faith in people. All this emotion is making me thirsty. Come on, let's find a place with shiny lights and an open bar. We should probably get back to Krista now that we don't have to worry about Taro's cronies messing up the final round. I'm not gonna let Soong's sacrifice be for nothing. Well, looky here. I got myself a hunter who's reached the last leg of the Great Hunt. Ain't I just a lucky gal? How about something serious for your final mark? You ready for this, sugar? You're hunting Jedi Master Kelly and Jaro, the Mandalorian killer himself. A Jedi Master should help cement my reputation. This fella's no slouch, that's for sure. At the Battle of Coruscant, Jaro single-handedly gave over a hundred Mandalorian soldiers the big push. Word is he's on board the Republic cruiser Aurora, so that's where you're headed next. You gotta take out Jaro and the Aurora to finish this hunt. The crew won't just let me board. Getting to your target's part of the challenge, sugar. We do got a plan for that little old battle cruiser, though. Once you're aboard the Aurora, You'll need to blast her hyperdrive regulator in the engine room. And that gizmo protects the ship from the powerful forces of hyperspace. Then head to the bridge and set the ship to jump into hyperspace on a timer. When it does, boom. No more ship. Couldn't someone just abort the jump? Not if you blast the bridge controls after you set the ship to jump. Now that's all I ought to tell you. But I wrangled some, well, confidential information. One other hunter made it to the final round, and he's already headed to the Aurora. Care to guess who? Taro Blood! That slimy son of a- He's gotten away with Brayden's murder way too long. He needs to pay. 
This saves us the trouble of hunting Taro down. Okay, Taro blood deserves a rather gruesome end, I get that. But are we really going to fight a Jedi Master? Jedi are all talk. No, I'm all talk. Jedi Masters are something else entirely. Don't listen to him. I'm with you all the way. I'll transmit the Aurora's coordinates. Best of luck. Making the final approach on the Aurora's coordinates. ETA, two minutes. Everyone up front. There she is, the Aurora. Wow, pretty impressive. Don't think they detected us yet. Let's see what I can pick up on their comms. Oh boy, the ship's on alert. They've captured an intruder. They're calling it an Imperial assassination attempt on the Jedi Master. Looks like there was a reason Blood always got others to do his dirty work. Makes you wonder how he got this. What the? We've been caught in a tractor beam. Attention unidentified vessel. This is the Republic Cruiser Aurora. You are in a restricted zone. Prepare to be brought aboard for a full inspection. If you offer any resistance, we will open fire. Well, what now? Sit tight and let them take us inside. Nothing wrong with playing it cool. We wouldn't stand a chance against a cruiser. Okay, Taro, we're coming for you. Halt! You are under arrest. Lay down your weapons. Hey, I'm just passing through. Save it. We already know why you're here. We captured your accomplice, one Taro Blood, who implicated you when he confessed under Master Jaro's questioning. You've made a mistake. Let's let the Jedi sort it out. So you can attempt your assassination? How stupid do you think I am? Time to join your friend in the brig. You can plea your case when we ship you to Coruscant to stand trial. This is your last warning. Drop your weapons and surrender, or we will open fire! Sorry, I want my blaster handy when I see Taro. You were warned! Open fire! Things start. So, oh, you're still alive, huh? You might be worth killing after all. Hurry up and let me out of here so we can settle this once and for all. Unless facing me as an equal frightens you. The cell suits you. Brings out the scumbag. Of course. Someone like you could never dream of defeating me. All you can do is ogle like some insignificant bystander. Come on. Surprise me. Open the door and face me like a warrior. Let's say I do. What then? My equipment's right over there in that lockbox. I suit up, then we end this. Something I should have done long ago. If you're a real warrior, you'll do it. Come on. Fine, I'll give you what you want. Now I get my gear, suit up, and we finish this. Right here, right now. Take your time. These are the last moments of your life. We'll see, won't we? You idiot. No real hunter would have given up his advantage and allowed a dangerous enemy to arm himself. No, I just have honor. You sound like that old fool had our song. And just like him, you'll find that honor gets you nothing. I think I knocked him cross-eyed. Fair! 
I was going to do great things. The galaxy was going to remember my name. I can't believe you two are in the same business. Do us all a favor and put him out of his misery. I want him to have time to regret everything he's done. No! Don't leave me here! Not like this! Damn you! You've caused quite a bit of trouble, but I'm afraid it's over now. I'll ask you to drop your weapons and surrender. So, has that ever worked? Some people have sense. Others must be persuaded. You will drop your weapons and surrender to me. Sorry, I'm not open to sec- You've caused quite a bit of trouble, but I'm afraid it's over now. I'll ask you to drop your weapons and surrender. So, has that ever worked? Some people have sense. Others must be persuaded. You will drop your weapons and surrender to me. You will realize what a complete idiot you are. Master? Be still, Padawan. I will take care of this. This bounty hunter has a much stronger will than the other one. Listen, I know the Mandalorians want me dead, but the Battle of Coruscant was years ago. Revenge profits no one. I implore you not to throw your life away. Abandon this hunt. You have your codes, I have mine. Always fulfill a contract. Fendus, your lightsaber. For bounty hunter, kill me just like you killed my master. Go on. I'm turning this ship to dust in a minute. I suggest you not be on it. We'll meet again, bounty hunter. I swear it. Ah, uh, kids, so impressionable. You think letting her go was a good idea? I may live to regret it. We'll see. Oh, I have no doubt. Personally, I would have shot her. We should set the cruiser to jump into hyperspace and deactivate the tractor beam before anyone else decides to show up. And don't forget to blast the control panel. Then we run. There's something we should discuss back at the ship. I knew you would! You're amazing. It was pretty impressive work, and believe me, I know impressive. You're my hero. You know that, right? Let's focus. Don't want to be the crew that was almost crowned Great Hunt champions. Right. But still, Brayden would have been so proud. So would Soong. You're who they were talking about when they spoke of Great Hunters. That means a lot to me, Mako. I call it like I see it. I'd say you made her blush, but I think that's blood. We should return to the Mandalorian Enclave on Drum and Koss to officially inform the Huntmaster of your victory. There'll be some sort of ceremony. Mandalorians are big on that. I'm sending them the news right now. The Hunter returns a hero. Sure is good to see you all in one piece. You don't look too bad yourself. 
I'm gonna look a whole lot better standing by your side, sugar, that's for sure. The Huntmaster's waiting for you in the main room. Go on in. Oh, and Hunter? Great job. You've made quite a name for yourself in victory, Hunter. Mandalore himself requested your presence aboard his flagship. He wants to congratulate his champion personally. Not bad. You're moving up in the galaxy. No more bit jobs and small paychecks for me. No, definitely not. Great hunt winners are destined for great things. The Huntmaster will address you now. Consider myself fortunate, Huntmaster. entered Mandalorian controlled space. Vacate the sector before we use you for target practice. You have two minutes. Lek told me my presence was requested. I'm the victor of the Great Hunt, here to see Mandalore. Apologies, Champion. I'll clear you for landing. Mandalore's waiting. This way. Mandalore, your champion presents herself. Glad a little war wasn't enough to keep you from meeting me, champion. I like a woman who's not afraid to get her knuckles bloody. Welcome aboard the Spirit of Vengeance, both of you. It's an honor. I am humbled, truly. Don't think I can't spot a man sizing me up, Deveronian. Your friend's a sly one. He's been eyeing every angle in the room since you walked in. Galt's definitely a lot more dangerous than he looks. Don't listen to her. She's just trying to make sure you shoot me first if things go south. I've got a lot to thank you for. Shoring up that secret auction, avenging Hedda Soon, stopping that arrogant snot Tarot Blood. You had a good slog getting here. Says a lot that you aced Tarot Blood without stooping to his level. A damn lot. He was never any threat to me. That doesn't mean he was harmless. He could have cost us a lot. The Great Hunt isn't held for the sake of sport. It's meant to find the best the galaxy has to offer, usually to handle a task vital to the Mendoid. I have one more thing to ask of you before I know you are the one for it. How'd I know this wasn't just a social call? Thought I'd bore you with tales of my glorious youth? Mandalorians prefer to inspire tales, not tell them. There is a cavern in the deep jungles of Dromund Kaz. Unnatural place, filled with all kind of... Abominations. There's something down there nobody's laid eyes on and lived to brag about it. I want you to kill it. I'll head for Drum and Koss now. My clans send their most promising warriors to bloody themselves on the beasts in the cavern. Head to their camp at these coordinates. We'll speak again when you've brought me a suitable trophy. Nice safari vacation you won, champ. Next time, take the cash prize. This is a camp for warriors, not hikers. You aren't welcome here. Warriors, huh? Guess that makes you the armor polisher. Bite your tongue, or lose it. I'm done being nice. She's more warrior than you, Jogo. Huh, you're one to judge, eh, Arutal? Huntmaster declared her grand champion. That true? It is, and you're standing between me and my next target. 
Winning the Great Hunt doesn't make you one of us. Finish up whatever brought you here and go. Never mind. It's an honor. Nice to meet you too, kid. Got a name? Tori and Kadera. Not a kid. I'm sorry about that. No insult taken. Taking the head of one of our beasts? I hunt in a different league, kid. I get it. The Sire of the Brood. No one's seen it, but it's there. You can feel its heartbeat in the walls. Better warriors than you have tried. They never returned. Then let me show you how it's done. There's a bottom, it's probably there. Good hunting. She's back. How'd it go? I did more than find it. Ugly. How did you kill it when so many of my clan have failed? If they had your attitude, it's no surprise they failed. You're so hungry for a fight, you don't think about what you're getting into. Bounty hunting is about fighting smart as much as fighting hard. There must be something to what you've said. You killed it, they died. I salute your victory. Hail to the victor! Yeah! Yeah! The creature's dead, Mandalore. I've brought you proof. Then it's time I introduce you to the other grand champions of the Great Hunt. Meet your only peers in the galaxy. We've gathered here to induct you into our exclusive group, the only hunters in the galaxy with access to jobs on the legendary Blacklist. So killing that creature was an initiation? Yes, but not to the Blacklist. The Blacklist's as old as the Great Hunt itself got its own traditions, I need your help keeping one alive. There's always been a Mandalorian in the group. Duty calls me away, so I want you to take my place. Keep a Mandalorian among the Grand Champions. I'm no Mandalorian. Killing that beast was your ritual blooding, so you're already Mandalorian in spirit, if not in name. Now. Do me the honor of joining my brothers and sisters in the Great Clan. All right, Mandalore. I accept. You've just taken a load off my mind, Champion. Champions! It's time we drink! Let's see how much black ale my replacement can put away! I hate to leave such fine company, but it's time I got back to winning the Sith's wars for them. Champions, till we meet again. I haven't seen the old man that happy in a long time. How's it feel to be a Mandalorian? Like I'm a part of something, not just another hired gun. Ah, oh, how sweet. Name's Bloodworthy. These two miscreants are Jula Nightbringer and the Defenestrator. We just wanted you to know we sent a little welcoming present to your ship. A Blacklist Bounty. One of the two oldest on record, to be exact. Something to ease you into life at the top. Have your laughs. You chumps will be out of a job soon. We're about to find out. We should get going. Our new friend here has plenty of work ahead of her. Don't be a stranger. About time you two got back. What happened? Well, first we met all the other winners of the Great Hunt, then Mandalore made our friend here part of his clan, then we all got properly sloshed. Are you serious? Tell me he's just messing with me. 
Definitely not what I was expecting. I can't believe you just left me here. It's not like I've spent my whole life wanting to meet these people or anything. Well, while you two were off partying without me, we got a very strange message. No indication where it's from, and the encryption's so tight I'd die of old age before I crack it. It's a bounty from the Blacklist. Wait, the Blacklist? So it's real? In all the time I spent researching the Great Hunt, I only heard rumors about the Blacklist. According to the rumors, the only people who know how to place a bounty on the Blacklist are the most major players in the galaxy. This bounty's pretty sparse on details, just an encrypted hollow frequency in the location to call it from. Terrace. Not a lot to go on either way. Not real trusting folks. To be fair, they've probably got a lot to lose. If someone ever did crack the blacklist, they'd have a lot of dirt on a lot of influential people. Systems are looking good. Look out, Galaxy. Here comes the Grand Champion of the Great Hunt.